you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers welcome to our youtube channel electrical lectures in the previous videos of latex series i have already shown you how to install latex and how to write technical document in latex specifically how to add references how to add equations and how to add tables if you want to learn how to add these features you can go and watch my previous videos in this video i will be showing you how to write ieee conference paper by using ieee template provided in latex so first of all i will show you how to download this uh, latex template from ieee website so for this you just go to google and right here download ieee latex template from here you will click the first result and it will direct you to the ieee website you just scroll down and from here you will download this ieee latex template it will be in the form of a winrar file so you can see it is downloaded and from here you just simply right click and extract this rar file now you will see here it is a folder just double click to open this folder and now you can see here uh, some files including some pdf files and there is one latex document named as conference_101719 this is the main file and there is another file which is named as ieee tran so this is the ieee class file you do not need to open this file but you only need to open this file so i will be using text maker to run this latex file so you simply double click this file and it will be opened in text maker first of all i will simply run this file to just show you how the generated pdf looks like so i will click this run button from text maker so the file will be compiled and this is the generated output where you can see the conference paper title and this next line is showing you the subtitles which are optional i will show you how to remove if you do not want to add subtitle in the next section you can see six author names and their affiliations so it depends how many authors you want to add next you have the abstract and followed by introduction and next sections so it depends how many which sections you want to add this template also guides you how to add equations and tables and figures and all other relevant material so i will be showing you how to modify this ieee template in each and every section so we start from the title first of all let me show you an overview of this template the first line of this template is giving you the document class the same document class ieee tran is written over here and if you are writing conference paper then you need to write conference here and this template then next provides you the list of packages so it depends on your requirement how many and which packages you want to use in the next line you can see the title so the same conference paper title is written over here so let's say we want to change this conference paper title so let me write it like this this is my first ieee paper so now i have changed the title now if i run this file you can see that in the generated pdf now the title is changed this is my first ieee paper now if you want to remove this subtitle or modify it then you need to change this second line which is in the footnote size or you can also comment it out and again i will run this file to see how the generated pdf looks like so you can see that now there is uh, no subtitle in this pdf file now next if you want to change the author names and affiliation so you can see uh, the author names and affiliations are written in a block structure backslash author and this is the detail of first author and separated by the command backslash and 
this is the detail of the second author and so on. So let's say I want to change the first author detail and again run this file. So now only John Smith is written over here. Now if I want to remove other authors, let's say if I want to add only three authors, then I can remove the last three blocks. This is the author number six, this is five and this is four. So I'm going to remove these three blocks and the last curly brace, you, you should keep in mind that do not remove this curly braces. Also, I will remove this keyword backslash and. Now, if I run this file again, so you can see now that we have only three authors written over here. Now, I will show you how to write and modify equations. In this provided template, IEEE has provided a single equation given in this section, subsection equations. And that equation is simply A plus B is equal to gamma. So in the template, you can see that this equation is appearing over here as equation one. If I want to change this equation, so you can simply change whatever you want to write over here. For example, I want to write y is equal to mx plus c and run this file. So you can see that the modified equation appears in the generated PDF file, right? So this is the simplest method to write equations. If you want to uh, learn how to write more complicated equations or matrices, you can go to our previous video in which I have uh, shown in detail how to write different types of equations in LaTeX. So the process will be similar and you can use that method in this IEEE template. Now let's move towards the table. In the same template, you scroll downwards to go towards the table. So it must be somewhere over here, figures and tables. In this section, IEEE has provided uh, an example of the table and also an example of the figure. So first of all, let us see uh, the example of table. In this table, it contains four columns shown by these C's, which are in total four. So this shows that this table contains four columns and how many rows? Rows are declared by this operator backslash H line. Right. So first of all, I will run this file as it is to see what is present in the table. It is somewhere over here. You can see that there are four columns and three rows. So let's say I want to add another column or another row in this particular table. How can I do that? If you want to add a new column, you can simply go over here in this line and write another C and this vertical line. So now there are total five C's which shows that there are five columns, but only doing this is not sufficient. You need to uh, see in the next line because this table contains multi column function. So out of original four columns, three columns are merged together. But now since I have added another column, so let's say I decide to merge four columns. So instead of three, I write here four. And whenever you increase the number of columns, you need to insert the entry in the in each row corresponding to that particular column separated by this AND operator. So in the next line, I will write another AND operator and write here as temp. For example, I want to add only temp over here. And in the next line also, I simply write another AND operator. So there is nothing written in between these AND operators, which shows that the entries particular to these positions will be empty. Now, if I run this file, you can see that there is another uh, column, another fifth column appearing over here, written as temp, and in the next row, also another entry present, which is empty. And if I want to add another row, to add a row, you will simply write another backslash H line, and in between these H lines, I can simply write, let's say A, and sign B, and sign C, and sign D and sign E. So in total, it must be five. 
and here is the operator for new line which is double backslash now I run this file and you can see another row is added and the and content of the, that row are A, B, C, D and E. Finally, I will be showing you how to modify the figure provided in this template. Again, first of all, let's see what is present in the template and then I will show you how to modify the size and other properties of the figure. So it is simply a dot type figure which is available in this template. So let's assume that you want to magnify this figure. You want to increase the size of this figure. For this, you simply come over here and after include graphics, you will put square brackets and adjust the width of the figure like this width is equal to one backslash text width. So as compared to text width, it will magnify the size of the figure. By changing this number where I have written one, you want to increase or decrease the size of the figure. So now you run this file and see what is happening in the generated PDF. You can see that the size of the figure is now increased. And the last section is references. So as I have told you in the previous video of adding references, there are two methods to add references in LaTeX. The first one is to directly write the references in this format, which is provided in this IEEE template. You will write each reference as a separate bib item and cite each reference in the main text by using backslash cite command as written over here like this backslash cite b2 backslash cite b1 and so on and the other method which is more practical and more efficient is to make a database of these references for detail you can go to our previous video of adding references in the latex document so hopefully uh, you have learned and how to write the conference paper by using this IEEE template thank you for watching and stay tuned to our channel